Are my old drafty windows the biggest reason why my home is freezing in the winter? This is a question I get all the time. It might seem that way, especially when you feel cold air coming through your home on a windy day. But in most homes, windows are rarely the biggest source of air leakage. This may surprise you, but there are bigger holes to plug and air leaks to seal. And we should take care of those first. If you qualify for the Minnesota Weatherization Program, then you are likely eligible for upgrades, repairs, or improvements that will make your home safer, healthier, and more comfortable all year long. Let's dive into the details on how this works. I'll start with the envelope of the home. The envelope includes the foundation, walls, windows, and attic spaces under your roof, everything that protects your living space from the outdoors. The home performance review that I did helped me learn if your attic, basements, crawl spaces, or any other places are leaking air and heat. Remember, during the review, I used different tools, including a blower door test to learn how much your house is leaking. I may have also used an infrared camera to find trouble spots. These tests help me figure out where you may need insulation and air sealing to make your home more efficient and comfortable. You may be surprised to learn that some houses have very little insulation in the walls or attics, but it's true. As part of weatherizing your home, insulation may be added to walls, basements, or attics. A common form of insulation is blown into hidden areas like attics and walls. It consists of cellulose pieces made of recycled paper sent through a tube into the walls or attic. Adding insulation is like putting a big, warm, and cozy blanket over your home. But you wouldn't want a blanket with a bunch of holes in it, right? That's where air sealing comes in. In many homes, there are gaps around chimneys, electrical wires, or other parts of the house where air can sneak by. Even if there is insulation, air can still move through the gap. And when air can move out of the house, it can also move into the house and that is when you might feel cold drafts in the winter. So even before insulation is added, those air leaks have to be taken care of. Spray foam, caulking, or board insulation can be used to seal up leaks into attics, through walls, and where the home sits on the foundation. Getting rid of air leaks will help the insulation work better and keep your home more comfortable and save you money too. We also look at the windows and will replace broken glass, add needed weather stripping, and make sure all windows close nice and tight. But window replacement is rare, as our program is not a window replacement program. When a home has been well sealed and insulated, there's little air leakage, and that's a good thing. But while we're sealing everything up, we don't want to sacrifice air quality. So, we may install controlled ventilation by adding a continuously running fan, usually in a bathroom. This keeps the air moving throughout the home and helps keep moisture levels balanced. In the next video, I'll tell you all you need to know about possible equipment upgrades.